Hi, in this tutorial I will be teaching you how to make the triple single. I'll be using 12 teal, 12 purple, 12 green, and maybe a little bit more than 12 clear. You will need a C-clip, or if you don't have C-clips, an S-clip. You will be needing your rainbow loom hook and your loom. Let's get started. First, take your teal and go forward one peg. Make sure your loom is in a V shape. If it isn't, you might want to be able to, you might need some help fixing it with your utensil on the back of your hook. So I went one space. With your 12 teal, go all the way down till you reach this pin. This is what your loom should look like when you are done with all 12 teal rubber bands. You would want them to be layered right on top of the other. Like your first rubber band, then a one right on top of it. Now, I'm going to use my purple. And you can use whatever color you've chosen. So from the center pin, I will be go, I, you have to go forward. And then you go forward all the way to the last Now that I've gotten all the way to the end, this is what your loom should look like. Now get to your last row and choose your last color. Mine will be green. I'll be starting from the third pin, well, my third pin on the third row, and go forward from this pin all the way to the end with your 12 rubber bands. And this is what your loom should look like when you have finished. Now to get on with the clear or the inside color. So now you want to flip your loom over and take your inside color, which mine is clear. Take it, stretch it, put it across these two pins, lift the forward knot, forward one up, and then you see this nice formed triangle. You want to do that all the way like this all the way down, but don't use these three last pins. You want to leave those open. Okay, now that I've stopped right before these three last pins, you might want to pause your video, the video to see if your loom looks just like mine. Now, time to start looming. You, you take your hook and push back this triangle and grab the green rubber band. Don't take it from the outside. You want to go push it back like a circle from the center around and pull the green up, push it off the pin, like circle it around, and then put it right from where it came from. Now stick your hook back inside, grab the green, pull it and bring it from where it came from. Do that all the way down your loop. Thank you. 
a little tip and trick right before you get to the last rubber band. I recommend since the triple single forms this curve for where your extension is. I like to take off the rubber band and bring it to the center. That helps me so I won't have to transfer. And then you can move the last rubber band. Okay, now let's get on to the center. The center is the most simplest part of the looming. You want to just grab the purple and bring it forward. Go in, which you don't have any rubber bands blocking like you did on this row. You just grab the inside purple. It's just like a little loop that you can just pull up. So you want to pull it up and around and do that all the way to the end. what your loom should look like when you're finished with the center row. Now let's get on to my, the teal. Remember, push back that triangle. It looks kind of stretched out over here, which it's supposed to. So don't get worried if you're like, oh, my rubber band got stretched out so much. So remember, pull back the triangle and grab the teal. This might be the loose, these, one, these two sides might be your loosest rubber band till you've loomed, till you've hooked the one that's inside of it. Just, it, that's just what happens. So stick your hook in and grab the teal at the very bottom. You never want to grab it from the outside. You always want to grab it from the inside. And do that all the way to the end. the last rubber band. Something that might help you, like it helped over on this side, is to take the rubber band off and then bring it to the center. And then stick your hook back into that pin and then bring it around and bring it here. This is what your loom should look like. You might want to pause to check if your loom looks like mine. If it didn't, you might want to go back in the video and see what you've missed out on. Now, to make my attachment or extension, so you want to stick your hook right through all those rubber bands and let it stick out. Then grab the extension color you'd like, put it on your hook, and then pull it over like that. Now bring it on to the gripper part or the part that gets a little bit bigger than the hook. Put it on there, and then you're ready to take it off the loom. And this is what it should look like. You might think, oh, why is it so small? That's because we haven't got to the part where you make the extension. Now turn your loom right back over and take the color you want of your extension to be. I'll be using clear, but you can use what color you like. So you take it from the first pin down. You can make it what size you think your wrist might be. I'll be using five rubber bands, but you can use as many as you'd like. And then you flip your loom over. This might be a little bit tricky, but so you pull it and make the, those two loops and then you put it right at the end. And then you just stick your hook right through those and grab the bottom color. The bottom clear rubber band, I should say. And then you just bring it forward kind of like the middle row. And when you get to the end, take your C-clip or your S-clip and just take it upside down and then scoop it in. And then take it and pull it off your loom. This is what your bracelet will look like. It's bigger now. Now take the other end and then put it on. 
And there you have a triple single.